Hello, everybody. So, um, I still got a little bit of a weird squeak to my voice, and I will cough occasionally. So, I apologize. You'll have to just bear with me as I show you this planner. So, this planner is a combination of a budget and a wellness planner. And it is because I've made some major changes this year, and moving forward, I'm I'm getting even more serious about it this next quarter. In my budgeting, I'm I went back to the Dave Ramsey system, listened to the book that I had, the audio book I have, got really serious about it, joined some groups that that use the Dave Ramsey system, and so I'm tracking every penny basically, and I'm following his baby steps. Then, as far as the wellness goes. I have slowly this month been transitioning. I mean, it took me a week to kind of do it. And then next two weeks, I'm still tweaking it. But now I think I finally got it. <laughs> and so I want to uh, do this ketogenic diet and be really serious about tracking it and making sure I'm getting everything just so. And seeing my, my feelings and my how I feel physically, emotionally, doing my workouts and eating keto and making all these changes. So the wellness planner was perfect for that. Okay, so let me show you how this goes. The budget planner, this is an extension pack, I should say. This is your year cover I had, which I thought was really appropriate for this, from an old happy planner. The rings, again, from that old happy planner. I had one of these um, pin loops. They come in a two pack and I hadn't used one of them. So there it is. I kind of put it up too high, but there it is. And I have these stickers with my name and address. And there are a few other things I'll show you in here. So the first thing is it has the savings goal. And I didn't use that because baby step one for Dave Ramsey is to have a thousand dollars in emergency fund. We were already my husband and I already had well over that in there. So I didn't really track me getting to that emergency fund amount. But I may start in April, this next month, what we have and then going forward. And what we have that's in the savings account that's just strictly savings because we also have some in there that's for a vacation fund because my husband won not that we're putting money away for vacation on the Dave Ramsey system he won a $2,500 vacation from his company that he works for but it has to be used on a vacation so it's in that account also but technically it's not our personal savings so anyway I may track that as I put more in but Dave Ramsey doesn't recommend you put more in savings until you've done baby step two which is paying off all of your debt so this may be something I start after that. I don't know. This is an expense. Oh, no. What comes next? Month at a glance, expense tracker. Those are all standard. And this month of March was kind of my crazy month with chicken scratch and all different colors. And so let me show you how I set up April. That'll be better. <laughs> so at the beginning, before each month, I have this, the month at a glance that comes with the extension pack. And it, I'm writing the way I'm doing that, and the reason there are two pins. So this blue pin, I'm writing all of my projected items. This is projected costs in here. And I'm writing all of my actual costs in the same blue. It will also go on blue if the difference between the two is nothing, zero, or if I spent less than I planned. If I spent more than I planned, then it'll get this sort of maroon red color. And that will go, so you'll see that red. Now, hopefully not overall my difference won't be won't be red. That would not be good. Up here, you'll notice I don't have the income yet. That is because, long story short, my husband is a truck driver. He gets paid quite a bit by the mile, but they made some regulation changes and it's harder for him to get as many miles in as he used to. So he, um, he gets paid by the mile and he's paid two days after he turns in a delivery. So that is varies very much. And I'm going to use my March to project what April would be. And I haven't finished March yet. Because with these new regulations, I didn't really have an estimate to put down there yet. Um, extra income, I don't know that we'll get any this month. I don't know yet. Um, but so I'll, I'll just project with the main income and the total here after I finish out March. I do know what I'm going to make, but um, yeah, I don't know his yet. So this debt snowball, I did not get an extension pack. It's natalierebeccadesign.com, but I purchased it on Amazon, and it came with a few other things that I'll show you. Um, so I might show you. I'm not sure if I used all of them in here. Um, anyway, I will link that Amazon link below, and I'll also put the link to all these other things I'm showing you. Okay? 
This is the bill, bill pay checklist. Can't talk today either. Um, and so it's just your set expenses that you know are going to come out. And I see I didn't put my car insurance down here, so I need to add that. Um, but the things you know and how much they are. And then there's a little check mark when you pay them. So these are your set things. Even though electricity will go up and down, um, it's a set bill. I have to pay it. Okay, this I really loved, and it was very eye-opening in March. So you put your date, and then here I put, I came back to this month at a glance, and I used the categories. So if it was housing mortgage, housing maintenance, I would put MO or MA, whichever it was. Um, and I would put that date and then that little code, housing, H for housing, and then MO, MA, whatever it was, whatever category it was. Then I put the amount and then I put who it was paid to and what it was. So if it was something, so if I put maintenance and I had to go out and buy, um, I don't know, I had to go out and buy a new sink faucet, I'm going to put Lowe's and the faucet. I'm going to put that down in here just like that. Then it has cash, credit, debit, need, want. I love that. So I should have nothing in the credit column, right? Nothing at all. The cash or the debit should be the only two columns I use as far as how I pay. The need, um, it was very eye-opening. So even though I budgeted for something, like say a birth, birthday gifts for the month of March, I have a lot of them in March, or um, uh, dining out, I budgeted something for that. I still have to put that down as a want because I didn't need to do any of those things. Um, I wanted to do them. So these wants, I mean, if, if my husband lost his job and we had to take a huge cut in our pay, whatever it was, this column is the one I need to worry about. This column could go away completely. And it's very eye-opening to see that. I really, seeing that was just, yeah, eye-opening. We you get a lot of these expense tracker pages, which I really liked. Um, but you, that doesn't mean you need to go drink coffee at Starbucks every day just because you got room to track it. That's not what that means. <laughs> okay, I put a sticker, today sounds better than someday. These stickers that say the month and for the dates, they come with the um, extension pack in the budget and in the wellness. So those are really nice. Okay, I put a don't forget sticker here. And I said, do you need it? Don't charge anything. Track every penny. And then I'm going to start cash envelopes, which is another Dave Ramsey thing this month. And so I'll put $100 in my grocery per week, $100 for the whole month I'm going to try to do for dining out. Wish me luck. Um, gasoline, I put $170 per month. But I really, really should be gasoline auto, you know, slash auto because I won't spend that in gas. And that way I'll build up a little extra in case we need a tire or, you know, I got to get an oil change or I have to have an oil change or anything like that. These stickers are, I really like. <coughs> so if you know the amount, you can go ahead and put that in there uh, for your payments. If you don't, you know, fill it out as, as you get the bill or whatever. And then I put the little sticker that also was in this this sticker pack I'm going to show you that says automatic payment because these if there was an emergency I don't get a I don't receive a late fee on this until the 10th and this one for the car I think it's like 10 days or something before I receive a late fee so if there was an emergency I know that any of these that aren't automatic um, I can call the electric company and say, I need to pay you next week. I can do those things if I have an emergency. But these automatic payments, if I have an emergency, I better go get online and do something about that or call them and do something about that. So it's always nice to see, oh yeah, that's coming out no matter what, unless I do something. Okay. And I've put stickers here and there. Let me show you what a blank weekly looks like. Now the weekly, I will say, this monthly and weekly, I had already these undated ones in my stash. The um, Happy Planner Budget Planner Extension Pack does not come with a weekly view. It just comes with a monthly. So I'm using a weekly, and this is what it looks like before I start. It doesn't have the dates. I have to put those in. and But I um, have stickers that say that. I have a ton. And then it says morning, afternoon, evening. So I changed that up with stuff I already had. And I just covered up those. I put this top column is where I put any incoming and I'll use a little dollar sign or something and it'll be any paychecks and things that came in or any additional funds that came in. Down here is where I put the um, 
the outgoing, anything I paid. And I also have little stickers for that if I want to use them. I don't know how fancy I want to get all the time. This is from um, one of the sticker books. And it says account balances. And it, I just have checking and savings. It also has, I think, retirement and, and something else you can track also. But I just have checking and savings to track. And I'm going to put my beginning balances. And then in May, I'll put the beginning balance again. And I'll see how savings grew, checking grew, whatever. How I didn't manage to spend all of it. Some of it actually went to savings. That would be what I mean to say. Here's a habit tracker. It says no spend. Get a few stickers. This came with also this same sticker pack. And it has weekly summaries of what you spent each day. Now, I probably will fill that out. I'm also going to do something that I did last month, which is to track what I spent in each category for that week. Some categories I didn't spend anything in, of course. But food, this is my husband's food while he's on the road. That is definitely a need. It's not a want. Groceries, that kind of thing. So I've got the F grocery, F Steve. Um, and I'll do that again here so that at the end of the month, I can just come back and add up the four or five of these that I have that say, grocery and then I can go back and put it um, as my actual for my grocery budget without having to you know keep a notebook with them in or I don't know how other people do it but <laughs> that's how I'm going to do it so it's much easier for me to do that and then right here I'm going to put the difference between what I spent and saved for, well what for, between my income and my spending I meant to say and then this will go right here as either credit or a debit and it will go right there on that little cute calculator that also came in that budget pack um, and then this is next week so I've just kind of started setting up the month I don't have the whole month set up but it's mostly set up and at the end of every month before you get to the next one this is that silly thing that I'll be covering up that comes with all the um, undated monthly packs from me and my big ideas that I don't need for budget planning and so here's the budget review where did I have the most trouble what could I improve this month what goals can I set for next month I really like this too and then it just starts all over again with all of this so um, that's I didn't add anything else to this other than that the printable from that one um, that one lady um, and some stickers I didn't add a bunch of stuff except for I did put one of these because I had it. It's a little um, pocket that goes in these happy planners. And I put a few, like these little dollar sign stickers, payday stickers. This says it's from the prettyplanner.etsy.com. I purchased this a long time ago, so whether she still has it or in these colors or whatever, I don't know. These, I don't know where they came from. And these, I don't know where they came from. But I thought it might be something, eye doctor, medical, you know, dentist, that I might use stickers for in this book so I just decided to put them in there okay this is the wellness planner part and I put this thing here so that I can flip right to wellness without going through all the pages so let me well no I don't need to take it out I was gonna take it out because of the glare but I'm gonna turn the page quick so <laughs> so this is um, the live the wellness planner and it has this live well and it had these little things fall in love with taking care of yourself declutter your space listen to your favorite song stretch all these kinds of things which are kind of cute and then it came with this little questionnaire thing and it says simple things that bring me joy you're to fill that out it has all these little questions and what I love about myself took me a lot of time to fill out and I only have four not five so <laughs> that was hard for me which is not a good thing right and then it has you put an item down that you like or, or your self-care practice and then is this good this is good for me because how can I make time to do this one time a week which I am hopefully more than that what time of day is the most beneficial for me and you get to do that with three different things and that's kind of cute this is you're supposed to write a letter to yourself that is too touchy-feely for me but someone else may just love that anyway I'm I won't use this. I may put some stickers or something on there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put, hey, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is how I set up April. It comes undated. And again, it has these little number stickers and the April that come with the extension pack. And um, it has this little column for a happy list. These are stickers I added, by the way. 
for this happy list. And, you know, you just put things, take time to create a tidy house, family time, keeping my body healthy. These are things that are my happies. So everybody else's will be different. And then I just put my birthday and uh, my son-in-law's birthday. One of my son-in-law's birthdays. Okay, then it's got the weekly. And let me show you a blank weekly. So, because all of these stickers do not come with it, of course. So this is how the blank weekly looks in April. Every month has a different color scheme. And this is different each week. This one says how quiet time empowered me. Some of them say how did I unplug, what, you know, different things. I don't know that I'm going to use those all the time. Some of them I've even covered up with stickers. So let me show you how I'm using this layout. Because I'm doing keto, I need to track my calories, fat, protein, carbs. I use a tracker on my phone, a keto diet tracker. I think it's just called keto diet. And I put in everything I ate for the day, and then it's going to give me this total, and I'm going to track it in here. My water, you'll see it only has four cups. That's because I use this huge Yeti cup, and four is more than they even say I need. So, um, but I'm on some meds that make my mouth dry out. I know other people have that issue too, dry mouth. And um, so I just put that down there. Then the second is going to be for my movement, everything I do to move my body to feel good. And so these are the different types of workouts. The yoga is becoming a necessity because my balance is getting really bad. And um, so these are just different things that I plan on doing. And whether I'm at home working out, or at the gym, these are the things I'm going to work out each of these days. Okay, down here, I have, this is this column, it kind of opened into daily gratitude, all that kind of stuff. Because it's the first of the month, every Monday I should say I track my weight. But every first of the month, I do my measurements now. And so I've got the different areas I'm going to measure, and I'm going to um, put those down here at the first of every month. I will do that. Oh, by the way, this is a stamp set, right, this stamp and stamp and I will link that below it's a Kelly Perky I believe fitness stamps that I, I, I purchased on Amazon then you've got positive word reading listening feeling watching it's got some stuff checking out how many times I exercised down here like I said this may very well be something where I say you know so proud I made all my macros correctly or that yoga workout was really tough and I really need to um, work on such and such you know that kind of thing will go down there Okay, and I've got most of it set up for the month. And the only thing I added to this, other than what comes with it, oh, I should say that the months start off with, after April, the month started off with this little goal section. What's inspiring me, how I'm strengthening my mind, body, soul, and also my goals for this month. And that's really cute. I really like that. And then different color scheme, of course. It's kind of a... I don't know, rosy pink. And then at the end, I just have this one piece of paper that says so the full body, the different workouts I can do if I'm home on the days that I'm due to do those workouts. So I just have some ideas. You know, I'm not drawing a blank. Okay, what should I do next? How do I, you know, without the equipment at the gym? So I have an idea. So that is how I've set these up, this up. And um, I have this little menu on the menu thing that I, I ordered online. And I, I kind of wish, even though most of these are business expenses for me, because I do have a business where I sell crafty things and I have a blog and a YouTube and all of that kind of stuff, most things I can write off as business expenses. I wish I hadn't gotten this one. And let me tell you why. It's because one of them says grocery shopping. One of them says shopping list. Now I may use that in a different planner. I don't know, but it really won't fit in here the way I'm using it. This just has different things like cake, tacos, takeout. <laughs> this doesn't apply to how I eat. This says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It has the days of the week on you know going this way. I may find a use for that for sure. And this is the only one I've used so far, and it has these on the menu things. I'm not even using it how it was intended. I was expecting, and I should have looked into this better, I know, but I was expecting like a breakfast, lunch, dinner, or total calories, or something for, for this. But, like I said, I'm using this. I will get use out of this. These, possibly. I think, though, that these three things right here are going to go in my next giveaway. Because I just, you know, I want to make use of them. I don't want to waste them. So they may go in my next giveaway. I used some stuff out of this budget planner, budget sticker book from... 
me and my big ideas and they have some really I love these automatic payment stickers I love these and I love I don't use these but these are very cool so these are expenses to track your yearly quarterly monthly I don't know I may use them so these are a recurring expense and you know yearly monthly yearly quarterly monthly and they might be nice in the future for me to track that I love these so I'm just going to flip through this really quickly so you can kind of see what all comes in it. Love those pay bills. And I love that there are blank ones of these bill payments. And then these are so cute. Okay. Asterix, gasoline, groceries, some quotes, financial goals. Paid off. I love that paid off sticker. I'm going to get some use out of that. And I love these bill due. So anyway, that's, and it also has these little monthly budget ones if you want to use that and set up your own um, way to track in a notebook or a spiral binder or something. Okay, I used some out of this. This, I didn't know what was in it. You could see very clearly, you know, exactly what was in it, and I bought it in person. So um, I, I'll tell you what I love about this. I love these little stickers. I've used these someplace else and something else and they're very cute they've got a lot of different things to use and i'm not using them very much and the reason is because um these are not easy to write on these are slick and so unless i want to use a sharpie but for instance if i use my um one of these I'll just write on one of these that i love to use it will smear unless i leave it you know if i touch it even and i'm a lefty so they smear so i have used some but i don't use a lot of them. These are very cute, these clear ones with the different things on them. And the pay bill, payday. And then these these are like washi strips, but they're the plastic material. They're not made out of paper. And they are cute also. Anyway, it's a cute one. And if, if you don't mind the smearing, then it's really cute. And it was not, I don't even know how much it was, but it was not expensive. And I got it a long time ago for, I want to say 50 or 40 or 50% off, so really didn't spend very much money. This one I also love, and it is one of the newer ones. Yes, I bought a newer sticker book. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't be. And it has just letters and numbers, which is awesome when you have handwriting like me. It's nice to have that. So anyway, these are the things I used. The other stickers, the colorful things, like for March, I had these stickers in my stash. And the way I keep my stickers is in a bound, disbound system in categories. So I couldn't tell you where each sticker came from or that kind of thing because I have florals together or color groups together, that kind of thing. So <coughs> I can't show that with you. But anyway, this is all of it. Sorry it was such a long video, um, but I wanted to show you everything. Anyway, happy planning, everybody, and thank you so much, especially if you stuck this to the end.